Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I want to put some shelves up in what's going to be my office, so I'm ripping down a few pieces of oak to use. I really like the wooden brackets I have in the workshop, and these came from Ikea. Trouble is, I feel guilty using anything that came from Ikea, so I'm just going to try and recreate them myself. They look pretty simple, it's just three bits of wood joined together, so I cut everything down on the miter saw, then I swap out the blade in the table saw to my flat tooth grooving bit. I set the height of the blade and then I can make my first cut. I start with the top of the bracket as that looks like it's going to be the easiest cut to make. I set up stop blocks on the miter gauge to make the outside cuts and then I can just nibble away the middle bits. Having the stop set up means I put the groove in the same place on all the brackets. I have a little test fit and it fits in nice and snug which is exactly what I want. I can then work out where the support bits needs to go. It's going to be a 45 degree angle so that's pretty simple. I could then use the third bit of wood to mark out where the cut needs to go. I use my digital gauge to set the blade to 45 degrees and then I could lower the blade again to the same height as before. I could then set up a stop block and make all the cuts in the same place as before. With the 45 cut on both pieces, then the blade needs to go back to 90 for the other half of the cut, and then I can nibble away the waste. The third bit of wood I cut down too long on purpose. Now I can see exactly how long it needs to be, and I can put a 45 at each end. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as just doing that, and needs a little opposite 45 to take the corner off. Then it all fits into place. It's not absolutely perfect, but they did get better as I went along. So now I can get it all glued together. The IKEA ones look like they've been glued together and then screwed together. So I'm going to do the same, drilling some pilot holes, countersinking, and then putting in some little 3mm screws. 3mm being the thickness, not the length. I think they're 30mm long. When the glue's dried, I can get them sanded down and then I need a way of attaching them to the wall. The IKEA ones just have holes drilled at the top and bottom, but I want to do something a little nicer. I have these brass screw cups, so I drill a 10mm hole and then they just get pushed into place. I seem to have missed it, but then I drilled a hole through the centre going all the way through. I apply some Danish oil finish and leave it overnight. Then I can mark out where I want them to go. I had a couple of scaffold boards that are 2.4 meters long in the garage, so I'm going to use them as shelves. And I'm going to put four brackets per shelf. I use a long thin pen to mark where the holes need to go. I can then get them drilled, get some plugs in, and the brackets can be secured in place. I'm glad I made these and didn't buy them from Ikea, but I imagine if I took into account the cost of the brass fittings, screws, glue, and oak, these would have worked out much more expensive but I think they look much nicer, even if I do say so myself. I'd given these scaffold boards a quick sand down, but unfortunately both of them had a little twist in, so I might take them off again and pass them over the planer. That's them all done. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.